Hello everyone, I'm Paul Hiller, the Marketing Manager at the International Council for Machinery Lubrication, the ICML. I'm here with you today to talk briefly about why to get certified and about the value of certification and specifically why ICML certification. And we're going to hear from several different people in this short video. Now, most likely you're watching this because you are getting ready to sit through some formal training that will help prepare you for one of our certification exams. And maybe you're asking yourself some questions like, when should I take the ICML exam? In fact, first, you may actually be wondering, do I even need to get certified at all after training? You know, I always say, people ask me that, what's the point, what's the need of certification? Why can't we just uh, sit in your course if it's only the knowledge? Well, it's a great question. And one of the things is that folks will engage in this kind of training for a couple different reasons. One is obviously to get certified. The other is for the pure educational purposes. The certifications prove themselves valuable as a social recognition that you've achieved a certain level of competency. And that's why they exist. That's why college degrees exist. That's why all different types of certifications and licensing exists, because it recognizes that you've mastered a certain body of knowledge. Training gives you the knowledge, while certification gives you the recognition. If you need to be heard, you need to be recognized. These exams and certifications give meaning and purpose to all your training. And ICML is the organization that administers the exams and issues the official certifications in accordance with ISO 18436. We are a global, not-for-profit organization dedicated to helping lubrication professionals in their careers. Founded in 2001, ICML quickly became a globally recognized and respected authority in the field of machine condition monitoring based on oil and lubrication analysis. With its careers program, a formal knowledge structure was created to facilitate access to information and promote the development of lubrication professionals in general. These ICML career paths are machinery lubrication, the MLT, two different levels, oil analysis with two career options, the MLA for field personnel, there's three levels there, and the LLA for laboratory personnel, currently offered at two different levels. Machinery lubrication engineering is in a category by itself. It's the MLE. And we also have two badges for varnish. It's a specialty certification, the varnish badges, VIM and VPR. Now, certification marks are those three letter acronyms that represent the official certifications and levels offered by ICML. These certification marks and their corresponding logos, shown here, identify professionals who have achieved ICML certification. The professional can use this mark and or logo next to his or her name on signatures, articles, etc. while certification is active. These certifications focus on essential skills that have been independently vetted through processes that meet internationally recognized standards. I have MLA2 and MLA3, both of certifications. During this certification program, I had the chance to improve my lubrication skills step by step. Because each certification program includes different types of topics to test where do you need your improvements. Therefore, training and certification better than training by yourself. If when you'll have one of these certifications, you'll improve yourself discipline at your work and you'll consult your colleagues and your customers with self-confident. So my association and membership with ICML, I hold the LLA1, the MLT1, MLT2, MLA2, MLA3 and MLE. Uh, these types of recognitions and certifications you know, are widely recognised globally um, and can provide you with some valuable information and career structured growth. Certification helps the advancement of professions and defines a career path. And the ICML certification brings, above all, credibility and confidence in your work. Also, improvement in employment prospects. Not to mention that it is a differentiator that sets you apart from other professionals in the job market. Having certification is fantastic. It's a bonus for the person who has it because it's great to add to the CV or the resume in their career progress. It's great for the company because it shows that the person has understood the whole thing. 
and certification uh, itself gives you confidence to carry out different jobs. Certification is just not a piece of paper. I always say to my candidates, certification is just not a piece of paper. It is uh, in, in, in form of a confidence. I think it, it brings a lot of value to uh, a lot of different parties. Uh, the individual himself, it raises his status uh, within the organization that he's working for. It, it gives him an ability to be a champion of the lubrication world within the organization. It gives you uh, the authority. It stands you that you can handle different tasks. You can do your work, uh, you know, what you believe is the right work for your job uh, with full confidence and uh, then you can expect results. And also if you're certified, you, uh, you cannot be challenged, right? Or your work cannot be challenged. You can only challenge yourself. Today, all over the world, more and more companies are requesting their lubrication technicians be certified. This is because companies see in the certified professional the promise of a better quality work. By becoming a certified professional, you will be directly contributing to increase the reliability of machines and equipment. The ICML recertification system is entirely based on continuing education activities that are converted into scores. Most of these points are acquired through continuous, uninterrupted work. And the recertification points program also encourages professionals to update themselves, attend new courses, and participate in conferences, among other activities. How can you prove that you have the appropriate knowledge if you're not certified, you know? So that certification uh, will help you to prove that you have the appropriate knowledge and you have done your, your homework and you have done your calculation Gaining certifications is the evidence of your qualifications and achievements. Getting certified by ICML as a specialist may begin the trust of customers and engineers who require professional assistance and consultation for their critical machinery. I'm a great believer in, in, in knowledge sharing uh, amongst my employees and, and giving them the ability to share that knowledge with our clients. Uh, that gives us a, a better stance in the marketplace as a resource for them, knowing that our, uh, our technicians, who I look at as ambassadors for our company, are, are passing on factual knowledge, uh, not based on hearsay, but based on uh, their expertise. And of course, the fact that they have gained that certification, it, it, it gives them that confidence. Once you do go for that certification, pass it, they gain a certain level of confidence that makes them go further in, deeper, to more content. What I've found is that folks who go through the educational experience to develop competency, and they don't take the exam, they become complacent and actually lazy in their attempt to learn more. And that's kind of a shame because they did put in a lot of energy and time and effort, and in some cases money, to do the training. Why not get rewarded with a certification? Quality training programs provide guidelines for professionals. While obtaining certification establishes and validates a standard skill level for them. Job satisfaction is impacted by the quality of work performed and its importance to the organization. One of the benefits for employers is that through the results of the exam, they can assess the need for additional training in certain areas or specific subjects aimed at professional development. Recruitment personnel today use certification as a point of reference for hiring and promotions. In other words, certification has a huge weight in your favor at the time of hiring. With an ICML certification, you get ahead. When it comes to education, a penny saved is not a penny earned, but hundreds of dollars lost. Do not be cheap when it comes to training plus ICML certification. Not only does certification produce good ROI, but the very act of earning certification has been shown to instill within individual practitioners the desire for continuous improvement. And that's something every lubrication team should have. With regard to training and certification, there is undoubtedly value in having training available for personnel. But I think more importantly is for uh, an employer particularly to see that that training has been taken on board and therefore some sort of examination process is of immense value in assuring the employer that the uh, member of the team has understood the concepts, the principles, the fundamentals, etc. 
of that training. And, and frankly, allows him to share with others uh, that he has uh, done the proper study and passed the test and gained that certification. It uh, helps the employer uh, know that he has an individual on board who is, is as knowledgeable about basics of lubrication that the test would provide and also gives the individual a strength with regards to future employment because it shows that he has a drive to learn and expand his knowledge base to the benefit of all the parties involved. I have also been approached by international companies such as lubricants and filter manufacturers to represent them on a regional level. And more importantly, it gave me the joy and drive to further enhance my knowledge and aim for higher level certification. If nothing else, it, it brings them to, oh, what else can I learn? What other certifications can I have? Because having those initials behind your name are meaningful. Once you become certified with the International Council, your name is added to the ICML Certified Professionals list, which is available to the general public on our website. Anyone anywhere in the world can access this list. You will also receive digital certificates that can be posted on social media, sent to your employer, clients, colleagues, among others. And you can also print it out if you want to display it proudly in your office. We also offer blogging opportunities, exam committee membership, where professionals constantly discuss, review, and update exam questions, so the information on our exams is always up to date with the latest industry practices. So what is required to receive ICML certification? First, you must attend a preparatory training course for the certification exam of your choice. It must also comply with all the criteria that are listed on the ICML website. ICML today offers both face-to-face, -face, paper, and online exams. When registering on the ICML page, you must select one of those two options. For the face-to-face -face paper exams, you must choose one of the dates already listed on the calendar on the website. For online exams, after registering, you will receive a link via email with instructions for scheduling your personal test date. Candidates must get 70% of the questions correct to pass the exam. So what is the exam format? If you've never taken one before, that's a valid question. All tests are multiple choice with four options with only one correct answer. If you mark more than one answer, the question will be canceled. It's worth mentioning that ICML does not use negative points. That means you should avoid leaving questions unanswered. You have a 25% chance of getting an answer right on each question, but leaving it blank, your chance drops to zero. To repeat an exam, you must register on the site again and then you can retake the exam after 30 days from the original test date. As mentioned earlier, recertification is done through a system of points, 12 of which can be acquired through work practices, and the other three points through participation in conferences, training, written articles, and other activities. The acceptance criteria is all available on the ICML website. Now, at the end of your training class, your instructor may issue you something called a Certificate of Completion. Just be aware that such a document proves only that you attended the training class, but if you want to be certified, you must still proceed with the official exam administered separately by ICML. So when should I sit the exam? Well, that's one of the most common questions we get. Candidates do better when they take the exam immediately after completing the course. This is one of the reasons why, whenever possible, we offer exams on the last day of or the day after an in-person training course has been completed. Now, maybe you were thinking you could just complete your upcoming training class and then not get certified right away, putting it off for a while for some reason or another. But our experienced practitioners and trainers here simply do not recommend that strategy. Typically, 24 hours are required of training and because of the pressures of time constraints, it's typically done over three days. That's a lot to take on board. And so therefore the idea that the examination can be done at a later time. Unfortunately, as time progresses following the training, the information disappears because I know from my own experience that during the training, not only are we trying to cover the material required for the preparation course for the body of knowledge for the 
ICML exam, but we're also giving of our own expertise. We're also giving of our own experience. And of course, questions will come up that are maybe outside the scope of the body of knowledge. So things can get a little confusing looking back at it further down the line. I have myself have had a year span from my training to the certification. And I had to spend almost a month to refresh all the contents before I could sit for my exams. So you get a lot of information in four days and once your mind is fresh, it's always the best to get the ICML exam right after the course because uh, you can prove by taking the ICML exam and being certified that you have already uh, taken all the knowledge and you have had a good understanding of what you have learned. Holding the ICML certifications is held in high regard. And we need to emphasize to candidates when they're sitting for the training the importance of uh, submitting yourself ready for the certification examination uh, within a tight time frame to make sure they retain the information from the training sessions and then be able to put it into practice. Do not delay exam after your trainings, which uh, online or uh, formal training or face to face training doesn't matter because untested knowledge is quickly forgotten, unfortunately. Thus, the more likely you'll pass the exam after training with fresh knowledge. I do have data that suggests that the sooner you can take that exam closest to your end date of your educational experience, the better you will do. But if you let it fest around for a week, two weeks, a month, or a couple of years, you're not going to do as well. My emphasis uh, is always to have the exam session right after the course uh, because the knowledge is fresh in the minds of, uh, of the students and uh, we review a lot of questions and uh, if there is a delay between the course and the exam I think that knowledge can slip out of, out of the minds and uh, I see the passing rate uh, drops if there is a big gap. Responding to exams may also lead to dropping concentration and interest due to the day-to-day -day responsibilities and concerns. So uh, I emphasize once again uh, we'd like to see more people sit for the examinations uh, to get that international certification and get the recognition you deserve uh, within your employment uh, and your future career prospects. So the earlier you get certified, the earlier you get recognized, the faster your career growth will be. And the important thing is, as soon as you are done and that material is fresh in your head, go for the exam, go for, go for that certification because the certification is a reward for your hard work and effort. Be certain to apply in advance for your ICML certification exam, ideally at the same time as when you register for your independent training course. And then come be part of this select group of certified professionals. I hope to see you soon on the ICML certified professionals list. Good day.